A very good morning on Shanti to all of you listeners and welcome back to 310th day of our Godly Blessing where God the Father is trying to teach us how to be stable while being and while considering ourselves to be incorporeal. This is a corp and the incorporeal is the soul. When we consider ourselves to be soul conscious because that's how we came down on this earth and that is what we are going to go up with. We are going to leave this body and go. We means the soul, the energy, the thinking conscious being. So Baba says in today's Vartan, may you be incorporeal and use all your ornaments. Ornaments means qualities while thinking of yourself as a soul. What all qualities can they be? They can be adaptiveness, they can be loyalty, they can be royalty. They can be introvertness, they can be, you can be courageous, you can be disciplined. These are all the different ornaments of a soul. So may you be incorporeal and use all your ornaments with your own stage to overcome all adverse situations. All adverse situations could be relationship situations, financial situations and your health situations also. So Baba says those who keep all the ornaments can never have arrogance of their bodies. Arrogance of the bodies, what does that comprise of? Your looks, your finances, your accomplishments, your post, your position in the society, all that can be arrogance of the body. Whereas the pure pride of the soul, considering us to be the soul, would be all those qualities. How much loyalty do I have? How much discipline do I have? How much of values do I have? That all comes in the soul consciousness. So God says to be incorporeal, soul conscious or incorporeal is one of the same thing and use all your ornaments, that means those qualities, is to be manmana bhav and madhya ji bhav. Manmana bhav means to make your mind understand that you have to consider yourself to be a soul. Use the qualities given by the supreme soul so as to become a divine being. Madhyaji Bhav means from a common human being, from a sinful human being, turning into a divine deity. That is what God does to us. He teaches us the method to be soul conscious because deities are soul conscious. Deities are not body conscious. They don't look at each other on the basis of physical beauty, physical appearance, physical accomplishments. Divine beings look at each other's habits each other's mind's purity, each other's intellect's purity and that's how they build relationships as compared to today's world where people build relationships on the basis of outer appearance. So Manmanabhav means I am a soul, considering myself to be a soul and connected to God. Madhya Jibhav means I have to become like a divine being. So God says when you are stable in your own original stage, original stage means soul conscious stage and divine stage using divine qualities. When we are stable by using divine qualities, you can easily overcome all adverse situations. That means you will use your qualities when you are in adverse situations, whether it's financial, whether it's your relationships, you won't be using vices, but you will be using divine qualities. There are 36 different divine qualities, how to use them is all be taught every single day in our godly learning at Brahma Kumaris. You can go there and learn it. Let's go ahead. Baba says, when you are stable in your own original stage, you can easily overcome all adverse situations and all your different old types of nature will finish by doing this. We all have our old nature. We are turning from a sinful being to a divine being. So the old nature of the sinful thoughts will slowly, slowly be changing. So God says, your old types of nature will finish by doing this. So by remembering I am a soul, by using the qualities that are divine qualities, my old behaviors, sinful behaviors will keep on going out. When you see the intentions of yourself, the soul, all things of conflict of nature finish. When I'm in soul conscious stage and when I'm using the soul conscious stage, then the conflicts will go away. Mine, that is mine, me, I. So I, me, myself will slowly, slowly go away. The consciousness of the body will go away. The consciousness of fear will go away. Consciousness of who's better, who's not better will go away. And we'll only look at the qualities and we'll understand the feelings of each soul. 
when we are in meditative manmana bhav stage or we are in the divine madhya ji bhava stage when you see the intentions of yourself the soul all things of conflicts of nature finish you can then develop in yourself the power to face all situations so when we are in manmana bhav and madhya ji bhava what is that you can learn in prama kumaris that's when all the situations which come in our life we can face them make the right decisions so what is that you can come and learn it at brahma kumari's godly special university in details and and you can make your life more stable have a blessed day stay safe and om shanti